What's up guys, welcome to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how you can fix the issue if you're running into low client FPS in Valorant. That's the topic of today's video, so just stick around if you're interested in that. But before we start right into the topic, I would really like to mention something. Sorry, you guys would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my small little channel. It would mean the world to me. So thank you very much. But let's start right into the topic. What do you need to do in order to fix this issue? First of all, um, I would always suggest you to uh, set a higher priority of your Valorant task. So whenever you started Valorant, just open your task manager and then click on more details that it looks something like this and then find your Valorant task, right click on it and click on go to details. You can also find it by uh, just selecting anything in there and typing then Valorant on your keyboard. Then uh, right click on your Valorant, click on go to details and then make sure to stay on the same task, right click again and then hover over set priority and then um, the normal one or the set standard one is normal um, but we can change from uh, low to real time, real time is the best so I would just suggest you to just try anything above normal, in my case I'm just going to use real time and click on change priority and that's already it uh, and then we can close the task manager and the next thing is uh, just to open your settings. So just um, search for settings and then open this app here. And then uh, click on gaming. And here, first of all, open the game mode settings. And then I would always suggest you to try um, turning the game mode on. We can already see that this is uh, to optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. That's exactly what we want. So just turn this on. And then back in the gaming, uh, change over to captures. And here, um, uh, always make sure to turn this setting here off, record what happened. In most cases, this is just unnecessary, using a lot of power in the background, so just turn this off. And then, uh, especially for the Windows 11 users, this is uh, very important. Change over to accessibility, and then into visual effects. And here, make sure to turn all of these visual effects off, especially the transparency and the animation effects. Um, those also use a lot of power and I don't think that they are so important so just turn these off and then start Valorant again and the issue should be fixed really hope this helped you guys if you've got any questions just let me know in the comment section below then I'll write you back as soon as possible and we will surely find a solution but that's it thank you so much for watching I wish you a wonderful day see you in the next video bye